Hey everybody, this is Craig Cuddle, Director of Nature Reliance School. We're uh, out doing a practical exercise today, hoping that we'll learn some skills as well as pass some on to you. Tracy Trimble has uh, assisted me in helping me learn some skills. So what, am, what are we doing? Well, basically, uh, we're gonna drop you off right here. You all have the map of the area. Um, we have designated a meetup point. I'm gonna get back in my truck. I'm going to the other side of the lake. You all have the coordinates of where we're going to meet. Uh, I'm going to be leaving the, basically the Cave Run Dam area, walking back trying to find that point. You're going to be leaving here trying to find that point. And uh, once we find everyone, we're going to sit down and enjoy a, a good uh, December night to camp out. Yeah, it's a land nav uh, application <clears throat> exercise. Basically, I don't know, in essence, I don't know this area at all. Uh, I have to discover where I am on the map and uh, we have some backup plans for emergency. That's the way we always try to do things so that even when we're practicing skills, we are taking care of our needs and we don't actually put ourselves in a survival situation. So uh, I'm getting ready to get the map out, try to figure out where I am and, and head off and meet Tracy and eat some deer meat tonight. Yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll give you a few. Are you gonna do some video while you're out there? Yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna hit some um, points here and there. Okay. Uh, you all be recording your all's in. Yep. I'll record mine in, and yep. then we'll match it up. Then we'll put it in a probably in the video you're going to see right now. So thanks for joining us. All right. So this is what we've done so far. Uh, Zane and I got our maps out. Uh, we determined that we're on the right data grid, which is WGS 84. Uh, we found our map scale one to twenty four thousand. That's the map that Tracy gave us. Then he gave us a point that we're going to. So we marked that point on our map. We've marked it as meet up. And now we've taken a couple of directions. So we know the correct direction to go if we went straight line. But straight line is going to be nearly impossible uh, due to the lake and a couple other terrain features, including uh, just some real thick vegetation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a roundabout way because we know if we head in a due west position or a due east position that we're going to be going right to the holler, the hollow, the ravine that we need to go to. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go around this thick uh, clear cut, what used to be a clear cut on National Forest land and then we're going to head down that holler because we know that holler is the only one in this area. We're going to go down that and we're going to get around the lake and find our next point over there. So we figured out that if we walk due east from the position in which we started, we should run into water, which is where we are now. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I know that the water is flowing to the lake that I want to go to. It's got to go that direction. And so I'm going to check out the angle of measurement of this particular waterway, verify that with my map to make sure that I'm on my right spot where I think I am. And if that's the case, then I'm going to follow the water to the big lake. Um, because I want to go around the lake, but we found a nice indentation Right through here. This is basically where we are. We started we walked due east found our position And now we're going to follow this down the lake and we're going to come around because up there's our meetup We can't go straight across the lake, but uh, Instead of going this way, which had a lot of vegetation We're just going to follow this down come up around and then back up so basically we're in this position right here right now and we're getting ready to verify that. Okay. This is what we have here. We knew that there was an improved, improved road, which basically means a horse trail, logging trail along this creek. And that's what you can see behind me there. So we're just in the process of verifying that now. We can see that road and uh, Again, basically what we're doing is over and over and over again, just pulling our map out and verifying that we are in the right spot. Uh, you can't just magically pull it out and find your spot with just map and compass. It's not real easy to do that. So we verified where we are and now we're heading back out again. All right, so uh, Zane and I have already done this two or three times, but I thought I'd get on camera too. So we're hiking, we left that trail and we come to another creek crossing. You can see in the background, there's a log that goes over the creek. All sexy and cool and movie style, you just walk across that log to uh, get across and not get wet. Here's the issue. If it's slick, we're, uh, I mean, we've been dropped off. We're out in the middle of nowhere at this point. Uh, we got a long way to go with the vehicle. 
we walk across that, take the risk of falling in, hurting the leg, twisting the ankle, getting wet. Uh, we're traveling real light today. We could take care of it if we were getting hypothermic. But it's not worth the risk. Basically, what I want to do is just travel down the creek until I find somewhere that's a little bit easier to cross. And that way, I'm not taking any undue risk. But the other thing that I'll point out is Zane and I can already see probably another 100 yards down through the woods. We can see the lake that we've been walking to. So we're right on the path where we need to. And uh, once we get down the lake, we'll take some other angles of measurement and azimuth. Make sure we're going in the right direction. We we know we're going in the right direction, but find out how to get across this lake or around it and, and move on from there. All right, so this is what we got going on. I want to make sure that um, this, this is really important. We brought the GPS as a backup, and Zane is the one that's holding the camera, and he's new to a lot of land nav stuff. So we've been, I've been pulling it out and talking to him about different things, and we discovered something as soon as we got started, and that it seemed like the GPS was jacked up. Okay. So, uh, we've been relying on our map and compass skills. This is why we always tell people to rely on their map and compass skills. Because what we found out is we're in a location, and off to my position right here um, is the lake. We can see it. We can visually see it. And we got the map, so come over here and get on the map. So, if you follow this all the way up, we're somewhere in this area right here. Okay? We know that because we can see the lake. Now, what we did is we looked at the GPS coordinates on the on the GPS unit, and it put us right here. We've checked, we verified that we're right. We're on WGS eighty four. Uh, we are on WGS eighty four. The maps on WGS eighty four printed, and so everything to scale and datum set and all that is correct. But the GPS is jacked up, put us way way off. So. We're going to rely on our map and compass skills to come around the edge of the lake. Here's our meetup point. We'll probably find, I'm thinking we'll probably find this little stream right here, come up it, come up this draw and hit right at the meet point. That's what I'm guessing we'll do. But um, the point being, back up there, the point being is that you cannot rely on technology all the time. Um, I actually have no idea what's going on with that GPS unit. That's really, I don't know. But anyway, uh, fortunately for us, we have some land nav skills, so that's what we're out here practicing, and that's what's going to get us out of here. So, thanks. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Um, hope I can get this on camera. But here's the lake. We're again sitting right here. And again, I want to point out, we know we're sitting here because we can see the lake. And that that uh, GPS unit put us up here somewhere. So this is what we plan on doing. We're going to get across this low level water right here which is really just dried up at this point we're going to get on the other side of the lake here's our meetup so my plan right now is it looks really steep right there the topography does so we'll find this holler right here ravine uh, waterway whatever you want to call it and we you can tell it's about due north so we'll get over there and we'll keep checking our compasses until we see a uh, what we think is a, a due north ravine holler uh, valley whatever you want to call it and we'll probably just get on this flatter area and go up in this direction to meet up with Tracy. So that's the point. That's what we're going to do at this point. So this is what we're running into. Um, we're at the lake. And we could see this on the pocket where we got over here. So I thought it might be that way. This is real steep. And so we can walk a very long way down through here. A good 300 meters on that real steep hillside. But again, our goal was up here, so that's probably a more accurate way to, to verify that we're there because we're kind of going off in the middle of nowhere right here, but we have map and compass skills. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb the hill right here because it flattens out. Once we climb the hill, it's going to be a whole lot easier walking for us for an extended period of time. Go over here and find where these two waterways intersect, and then we're going to be right on the money. Um, this doesn't have to do with land nav, just basic wisdomship I guess. So we could go straight up the hill here. As you can tell the hill that's in my background is what is that? Probably a 40, 45 degree slope. That's some pretty maybe even steeper. It's pretty steep. Um, but basically if you start down at the bottom and you go at an angle up to the top, it's gonna be a lot easier walking. I know it's simplistic for a lot of people that are familiar with that, but for those of you who are watching or brand new to this kind of stuff don't go straight up the hill. You'll wear yourself out. You'll get hot and get sweaty. So what we're going to do 
is start at the bottom and instead of going straight up, turn at an angle and go up the hill. It'll be a little bit easier walking, not as hard on us, and by the time we get to the top we won't be sweating, which is a bad thing in cold weather. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We took a little break and we're just verifying where we are. Uh, we're right on the money, but I'm gonna show you how we did that. So we'll get the map down. So we know, let's get this in the sun. Can you see that? Yeah. We know that we are somewhere in this area right through here. We don't know if we're looking at this little holler, but we've got a little holler right off to our east. And we don't know if it's this one, this one, this one. We don't know. We have a good idea. But what we want to know is, where are we exactly? So what we did is we found this high spot right there. And so we'll make this quick because I think we're running out of space or video. But we've got, we took a shot on this hillside right here. And we took a shot on what we thought was this hillside right here. And we basically found out that we are sitting right here by triangulation. So we got this angle of measurement. We knew if that is the hillside we think we're looking at, we just drew a line. And then we did the same thing on this side. We took an angle of measurement on what we see as another hillside, do another line, and those lines intersected right there. And so that tells us that we are in that current position. So what we did is we came up and over the hill. Now we're going back to that main holler. We're coming down to here. What we want to find, here's our meetup point. We want to come down the holler and see where this topography indicates that we have a good Y there. Because we're going to follow the right side of that Y up to the meet spot. So that's where we're headed down. We're heading down right through here. We're gonna find that, and then we'll head up meet Tracy. So this is the spot that we were talking about at the last stop. We came to a Y. We've got an uh, intermittent stream that's running, going this direction. A stream that has water in it currently because there's been a lot of rain running this direction. So what I've done is I took an angle of measurement right here and determined what kind of angle we're looking at actually on the earth with this stream. Did the same thing on here and then verified that on my map to make sure that what we're looking at is exactly where we are. So we came up that holler um, and Tracy was going to be at the ridge top. That was a meeting spot. Um, but he got to that spot first and then he got hit us up on the radio and said that that's not a suitable spot because he had picked that out just from the topo map. When he got there, it wasn't suitable. So now what we're doing is we communicated effectively on the radio. He can actually hear me yelling. I can hear him yelling. Hey guys, this is Tracy getting ready to head out of the parking lot here at Stony Cove. What you're seeing there is the dam for Cave Run. A very nice place. A lot of water activity goes on around here. So if you haven't been out and enjoyed Cave Run, come on out and take a look around. You'll find something uh, interesting to get into. What we are doing today we dropped or I dropped Craig and Zane off and I'm leaving this point and we're going to meet up in the middle somewhere this is the map that I gave Craig and them I dropped Craig off at this point and we are meeting up at this point Craig and Zane's map is, is uh, void of any markings this is what I've made up for myself last night these red dotted line is uh routes that i probably would take if i was craig i want to see how closely we match up to that <clears throat> i am over here in this parking lot this is the dam i'm over here in the parking lot and i'm going to be working my way back around to this point this is where we're going to be meeting up so uh hopefully everything will work out we have a um uh deadline at 3 p.m. this afternoon to, to meet up and then we have some contingencies if if uh, if no one's there so everything should work out pretty good and we're gonna find us a campsite and camp out for tonight should be getting down around freezing cool night to camp out and enjoy the weather so I'm gonna get my backpack on and we'll be heading out this direction and I'll check in with you later I've made it almost to the end of the field and although it doesn't look like it here it's kind of narrowing in um, but I have been in in some fairly open field I want you to look at that hill there and the video may, may not pick it up but there's a hill just to the right of it about right there that I can see the video may not be picking up but I got to the 
end of my field and I oriented my map and you can see the point that we're going to at the end of that red dotted line that is the hill that we're looking at and that is the flat see how that has a flat top to it I'll take a better video let me get focused again but that is that pointy hill and then there's a little flat hill that runs off to the right of it so we're going to be heading in that direction there and if I have a better opening up there I'll take another short video to show you the pointy hill and the hill that's got a little flat area once again I think that I am somewhere right in the center of the screen and looking at the hill with the sharp point and then the hill with a little bit of a flat top to it. But we'll head off again in that direction and uh, take another short video up there. Take a look at those hills, make sure I know where I'm at. We got to work our way to the right of those two hills for the meeting points. But before I get into the woods, I took a reading with my compass. It's 275 degrees to that hill that has the point on it. And uh, we'll head that way. And then we'll determine if we want to go to the right of that or to the left of it. See how the uh, thickness of all these pine trees. There's tons of pine trees down. Let me zoom out. When you're talking about rough walking, that's why I kind of hit the field to walk. I walked a little ways in it and it was just wearing me out. So I worked my way back up, found the little road, and walking through this field to uh, for better uh, ease of walking. It was wearing me out, stepping over all those pines and such. But We'll work our way this way to those uh, to that pointed hill, and then uh, we'll determine on how we want to go from there. Hey guys, sitting down taking a break. Kind of broke a little sweat climbing this hill. I'm trying to cool down a little bit because uh, there is a very slight breeze, so it is a little chilly. But I wanted to update you on my location. If you can see, I'm at the base of that hill that is pointed. I'm trying to outline it for you there. My meeting point is going to be through this area. The other hill is right through here. So I'm going to head up to get to the base of that second hill and then work my way back around the other side. And uh, hopefully, Craig will be there. And Zane or be there shortly. We're supposed to meet at three, no later than three, so it's one. We still got two hours. I kind of wasted some time down there squirrel hunting. So uh, just to update you on my location and uh, we'll head that way. Well, we must have done something right. We met up. It's good to hear you. <laughs> Here, we, uh, on my side of things, what we did is we traveled a creek and fought it, and Zane and I kept taking angles and bearings along the creek, the hollers that we came on, and basically it's just what I refer to as quality control. Just making sure that we know that we're on the right path. Uh, how'd you do? Pretty good. Um, I had a uh, hill, a pointy hill. Yeah. that I could see from the distance and I just took a bearing off it which, and uh, worked my way through the field and just stayed in it until I got to the base of the hill to that hill and then um, and then I just had to work my way around two, two side hills to get here and uh, the point was on up there and it wasn't a good campsite so we're working our way back down to so we met up we had radios so that we can communicate via radio uh, he hollered at me on the radio and said hey this is not going to work so me and Zane sat tight and met up with him, and now we're going to find that campsite. Uh, find up and set up. We got some deer meat. We're going to fix it for dinner tonight and uh, 
Tracy killed a couple squirrels on the way here, so we're going to eat some squirrel meat and all that good stuff. So we'll probably hit a couple more videos while we're out here and see what we can find out. Sound good? Absolutely.